We are just one week away from the solar eclipse, but did you know that you don't have to wear those special glasses to be able to view it safely? All right, so tonight we're telling you about an alternative and a cheap way to watch the eclipse that you can actually make yourself. 13 News reporter Sam DeCoss joins us now from the Canal County Public Library in downtown Charleston. And Sam, essentially you had a day of arts and crafts. <laughs> what did you make? <laughs> Well, Pat and Amanda, here in my hands, I am holding a solar eclipse cereal box viewer. And believe it or not, on the day of the eclipse next week, you'll be able to watch it happen right at the bottom of this box. And all you need to do it is a cereal box, aluminum foil, a push pin, scissors, and a ruler. It's old school. And Pat, I'm sure you remember doing this back in the day, right? So here's how it works. If you take a look at the top of the box, there's two tabs. The first one is open for your viewing. The second is covered with aluminum foil. Oil. If you take a look closely, you might notice there's a very small hole in the middle of the foil. I used a push pin to make it, and that allows the sun to project itself onto the bottom of the box. On the day of the eclipse, the way you look at it is you have the sun over your shoulder. You'll close one eye, and then you'll use the other to look inside the bottom of the box, and you'll see the sun. And then when the eclipse happens, it'll be covered by the moon until it's visible again, and you'll be able to see all of it on the bottom of the box without looking looking at the sun whatsoever. So it's completely safe to do. It's cheap and easy to make. I use trick cereal because this experiment will really play tricks on your mind when you do it. But any cereal box will do, or even a shoe box or any thin and rectangular object. Coming up at six o'clock, I'll show you how to make one yourself. Live in Charleston, Sam DeCoste, 13 News.